Okay. Hi guys. Today's video is based on what is an asset. Okay, so we've discussed in class before what an asset is, and by now you know that there are different types of assets and so on. Okay, whether you have a non-current asset or a current asset, the fact remains that it needs to meet the definition of an asset. Now there are four parts to the definition of an asset, and those four parts are the first one, it needs to be a resource. Okay, that's the first part of the definition of asset. Is there a resource? Mm -hmm. The second one is, is there a past event? So, what was the past event? The third part is, is it controlled by the business? So, there needs to be control. And the fourth part of the definition of an asset is, there must be an inflow of future economic benefits. Okay, so those are the four parts of the definition. What does this actually mean? Let me give you an example. Let's say you've purchased equipment. You all know that equipment is a, an asset, a non-current asset. So what you need to do is, if I've asked you, if I've given you a transaction that says you've purchased equipment, you need to ask yourself, does that meet the definition? So he's purchasing equipment, meeting the definition of an asset. So you have to go through the example by saying, is there a resource? What is the resource if you purchase equipment? The resource is the actual equipment because you are using it to produce something. So a resource is something that you can make use of. So the equipment needs a part of the definition which says it's a resource. The second one is the past event. What is the past event? The past event in this example would be the purchase date of that equipment. The day you purchased it, that is when you have the asset. The third part of the definition is control. Who is actually in control of that equipment? Is it you as the owner of the business or is it somebody else? You need to have control of that equipment and in this case, if you've purchased the equipment, you are the only one that's in control of that equipment. And the last part of the definition is an inflow of future economic benefits. What does this mean? This means that there needs to be some sort of gain that you are getting from this asset. And if you purchase equipment, what is that inflow? There can be two things. Either after using the equipment for a while, you sell the asset and then you get money. That can be the inflow. Or you produce products which you sell. And those products then will generate income. So there must be some sort of benefit which you are getting from the asset. So if we go through it again, the definition of an asset is a resource resulting from a past event controlled by the entity that will give rise to an inflow of future economic benefits. That's it.